I'm Tom Malagany for Inside EVs, and I'm standing in front of a 2021 Tesla Model 3 with the 18-inch aero wheels and covers. And this is my personal vehicle. Now, we're here today to talk about an aftermarket product for the Model 3, specifically for those that have the 18-inch aero wheels. I'm talking about a wheel cover that replaces the stock wheel covers that looks better in my opinion at least and also doesn't sacrifice any efficiency these are new products from a company called rim tricks and it's called the orbital wheel cover they're available in silver or as you can see black directly from the rim tricks website we're going to talk about this new interesting product in a minute but first don't forget click that subscribe button and tap the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on the inside evs youtube channel so let's take a look at these wheel covers and compare them to the stock aero wheel cover that tesla provides but before we start i just want to get one thing clear this isn't a sponsored ad for this product um, yes, Inside EVs did receive two sets of them, one that I took and have been using on my Model 3, the other one that our, our senior editor in charge, John Neff, put on his Model 3, which, by the way, he loves also. Uh, we frequently get products for all different types of EVs, mostly Teslas, I have to admit, because there's so many Teslas out there, there's so many aftermarket products that people are selling, we do get our fair share of them sent to us and ask, would you review it? Uh, and most of the times we don't review them, but every now and then a product comes along that we think is a really good product and it's worth talking about. We think our readers would like to see it. And that's why we're here talking about these orbital aero caps. Um, so as you can see, this is the black one on this side here. Um, the black ones cost $265. The ones that are in silver cost $285, $20 more. And that's for a set of four with the four center caps. Um, the, uh, the interesting thing that I noticed is, if you could tell, this is taller than the standard uh, stock uh, aero cover that Tesla provides. I measured it, and this is uh, 19 and 3 quarters inches. And this is 19 inches, so it's, it's 3 quarters of an inch taller. What that does is it allows the aero cover to completely cover the rim. You don't have the little trim around the top of the cover exposed of the wheel like you get on the stock aero caps. And what happens with that is you get curb rash. If you hit the, the, the curb, you drive up against it. If you're parking your car, you've got a really scratched up rim that you've got to sand down and repaint if you, you know, really want them to look good. With these covers, it completely covers the rim. Yeah, you'll scratch the cover, but you won't scratch your rim. And that's important for some people that maybe have Model 3s now that kind of rashed up their rims and, and they, they don't like the way they look. If you get these and put them on your car, it'll completely cover the, uh, the edge of the rim that you've scratched up. So I think that's a, a nice feature that this has, that it completely covers the entire wheel. Now, they are more expensive than the Tesla uh, stock wheels. You can buy a replacement uh, aero cap for $25 from Tesla. So a set of four is a hundred bucks. The, the, as I mentioned, this is either 285 or 265, depending on uh, which color you want. But, um, you know, I think they look nicer. Uh, I, although the redesigned, the, in 2021, Tesla redesigned the wheel slightly, as I mentioned earlier, and also they redesigned these aero caps. And I like the new ones a lot better than the previous aero caps. I didn't like those at all. I had a 2019 Model 3 and I took them off the car immediately. I just didn't like the look. Now they only tweaked the look a little, but I think these look a lot better. So I actually ride with these on my car. Well, until I got this set, now I use these. And quite honestly, I've gotten a lot of compliments on them. People think that they're wheels until you get right up on top of them. Uh, they completely cover the wheel behind it. Sometimes when you have plastic covers on, on wheels, you can see the design of the wheel if you get right up on top of it, showing through the holes that you have in, in the cover. You can't see that with this. It completely hides the wheel. So unless you get right on top of it, it really looks like it's kind of like a turbine wheel. Now, not exactly Tesla turbines, but it has that 
type of a, of, of a look. It's in that family of look like the turbine. So, um, hey, I, th I think it looks great. And like I said, I've gotten compliments and John has said that he's gotten compliments on the wheel also. Removing the orbital wheel covers is simple, but you do need to have a screwdriver. That's because the center cap has to be removed first. You can't pull the wheel cover off in one piece like you can the original equipment aero covers that come with the Model 3. Those you can just pull them right off. These wheel covers you need to remove the center cap first. Be careful so you don't scratch the wheel. If you just work it around a little bit you can get your hand on it and then pop it off and then the wheel cover just pops off. Very simply to reveal the wheel. Now the aero wheels for the 2021 Model 3 are slightly different than they were for the 2018 through uh, 2020 Model 3. Now they look very similar but they are slightly different. Uh, but um, Rimtrix tells us that these will fit either model, either wheel, because while the difference is slight, it's not too different that the wheel cover won't snap onto both wheels. So this is a 2021. I know it works on this. I have no reason to um, not believe uh, rim tricks that it won't fit the older versions, um, but I know the wheel is slightly different um, and uh, I had no problem whatsoever putting it on this. And I've actually seen other people comment uh, about the previous years that they've had and they've used them on the car. So I'm sure they tested it out with both and you shouldn't be concerned what model year you have. These will fit any of the 18 inch aero wheels uh, on the Model 3. Just the Model 3, these won't work on the Model Y because they have different wheels. Another nice thing about these orbital wheel covers is they're very aerodynamic. Um, the company actually performed a couple range tests. Now, um, I wanna qualify that they weren't really scientifically done. It kind of appears from the chart that they have on their website that they just took a Model 3 out on the highway and drove it for a while and did it with, with the covers on, with the stock covers on, and then also with no covers on. And uh, the results showed that with the covers on, both covers, uh, there was a significant in, in, increase in efficiency. Now, this has been tested by a lot of other uh, neutral third parties, and uh, I've seen anywhere from 3% efficiency added to as much as 10 or 12 miles of range added to the Model 3 when you have the stock aero covers on, as opposed to if you just took them off and left the, the, the wheel exposed there. And what um, they came out with their test was that they had a very similar result, that yes, with, the, with no aero cap wheels, the car performed the worst, but with the two covers, one of their tests, they were basically the same. And the second test they did, um, their aero covers actually performed a little bit better than the Tesla aero covers. But like I said, uh, this doesn't seem like it was in a controlled environment, that it was just on a highway and um, anything can happen. Uh, there's wind, there's you know elevation. I don't know if they did the exact same course. There's traffic conditions that can, that can really affect um, what the efficiency is gonna be. But needless to say, um, it does appear as though at the very least, uh, they're going to be an improvement over if you just remove the aero covers and had your just your stock wheel. Let's say you don't like these covers the way they look like I felt about my previous Model 3 and I took them off. Uh, if you use these, you're going to have an improvement in efficiency. Um, and, you know, it probably will be just about the same as the stock aero cover wheels. Um, I've been driving mine for a while now. I haven't done any real specific tests, but I do keep an eye on my watt hour per mile and... Uh, uh, I haven't noticed any difference in my average driving between these two. So um, that's a plus for this, that it definitely appears to be um, more uh, aerodynamic, more efficient than if you were driving without a cover on it. And uh, these were designed with that in mind to at least be as efficient as the stock aero uh, covers that come with the car. Now, one of the things I want to point out is currently you can only buy a set of four. So if you scratch one up, you can't get just one. You'd need to buy a whole set. Uh, hopefully that'll change. Uh, probably will at some point once they um, have a lot of these made. Right now, these are back ordered for like five weeks. 
as soon as they started selling them, they, they did a Kickstarter uh, last year and it went really well. And then once they, they had them available and started selling them, they sold out immediately. And uh, now they're back ordered for five weeks. So uh, these are selling really well. I've seen them reviews online. People are really happy with them. It's part of one of the reasons why we said, hey, yeah, we'll take a look at these. It sounds like the people that use them really like them. So um, why don't you send us a set or two and we'll, uh, we'll check them out. If we like them, we'll talk about them on Inside of Ease, which is what we're doing now. Um, uh, another thing to point out is they are made in America. That's important for a lot of people. A lot of people like, um, you know, companies that are centered here in the U.S., design, manufacturing. They're making these in the U.S. They're a California-based company. Uh, right now, this is the only product they have, but they will be selling uh, a aero cover like similar to this for the Tesla Model Y. It's not available yet. Uh, but their website says that it's going to be available in a few months. So if you have a Model Y, you like the way these look, or you just want to have a change, uh, keep an eye out for this company. Go to the uh, website and uh, check out when those are going to be available. You might want to pick up a set of those. And the last thing I want to point out is that these are good for all weather conditions. If you live in a northern state where it snows, uh, you don't have to worry about that. These are really durable, thick plastic covers. They've been tested and they could be used in any weather condition. Uh, so if you're interested, head over to the Rimtrix uh, website. It's R-I-M-E-T-R-I-X dot com and check out what they got going on there. Now, remember, if you are interested, um, they're five weeks back ordered at this point and um, seems like demand is really strong. So you might want to put in your order to uh, get, get them, at least get your order processed so uh, you don't have to wait months and months and months. Uh, hopefully they get caught up with their production because I think it's a good product. Uh, the feedback I've gotten from some of my friends who are Tesla owners was really positive. They thought they looked really good on the car. And uh, as I said earlier, they, they didn't know that they were plastic covers. They thought that, they, that I had went out and bought wheels. So um, that's what you want. You want to spend a couple hundred bucks and make it look like you spent a couple thousand. And uh, I think it does the job really good. And uh, listen, I'm happy with them. And for the price, I think they're a great bargain. Uh, so that's it for our product review, review of these orbital wheel covers. Don't forget, click that subscribe button, tap the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming content here on the Inside EVs YouTube channel. And thanks for watching.